Welcome back. This is the third and penultimate session of our course, Making Architecture. Now, in our last session, we talked about the environment, the social uh, material context in which a building exists. Today, we're going to be talking about space. Uh, and space is a very complex word. Uh, what we're going to do today is to talk about conceiving of space and then actually making it physical. And we use this word a lot in architecture school. Probably uh, many of us use the word without even thinking about the, the deeper meaning. So let's talk about space. Where am I now? In what space am I? Uh, well, uh, first, I'm in the central courtyard of the IE University campus here in Segovia. That's where I am. But where am I really? Well, I'm sitting on a bench. Okay? And that bench is dimensioned perfectly to fit between these piers. So I am in this space. Behind me, there's a window also fitting between these two piers. I'm lit from the outside here. There's a beautiful courtyard right here. I'm in this space. Let's keep zooming out. Where am I? I'm between uh, two structural elements. One of them behind the camera you can't see is a brick archway and another one right there. I'm in this structural module. If we keep zooming out, we see that I'm in one side of a four-sided courtyard. I'm in the center of what was a, a convent in the 15th century. I'm in a series of spaces. I'm in many spaces all at once. Spaces don't need to be defined by four walls. We can conceive of spaces in a very complex way. In fact, really the only limit to those spaces is your creativity. And we're going to work on your creativity thinking spatially and making space in this, uh, this session.